Peter Obis attorneys are in a stronger position going into court, according to Falano San. Wow. So what uh, Femi Falano is saying, um, as an experienced senior advocate of Nigeria, still in practice, is that Peter Obis attorneys, the legal team of Peter Obis and Labour Party, are in a stronger position going into the court. They're definitely based, because, based on the evidence that they have gotten so far. Okay? Definitely... All those other lawyers that uh, Tinubu hired, those ones are just there to make their money. Just that the reverse. Because uh, Kayamo is saying that uh, the people, the legal team of Peter Obi said, they told him in confidence that they are there to make their money. I think the reverse is the case. The people following Tinubu are the ones that want to make the money. They are not even doing any research. They are interested in being paid and then they will, they will make their money and their own share of money and walk away. That is the truth. So what Falano is saying here is that Peter Obi's legal team are in a stronger position going into the court. And as an experienced person, I think he knows what he's saying. And the whole world knows, and even APC knows, that is why they are jittery. And they are making some, some, some derogatory statements to create distraction. That's why they are trying to tell the world that uh, some people want to scuttle inauguration because their interest now is inauguration. Some people just caught inauguration and all of this and that because they know that the case is not a BB case for them to handle. Unfortunately, uh, those people are not even practicing very well because they're interested in getting money. A senior advocate of Nigeria's son and human rights activist, Femi Falano, has come out to claim that the Labour Party's presidential candidate lawyers have an advantage going into court and court and made ongoing reports that the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter B. Gregory, has dragged President-elect Asiwaji Bolatinubu to the election tribunal sitting in Abuja. But he added that the petitioner's proof and the accuracy of that evidence will be what the court considers. He, ref he referenced the Independent National Electoral Commission admission that some electoral officers have violated the Electoral Commission's conduct. Okay. Femi Falano went on to say that the significant evidence presented in court may result in the annulment of the election that produced Bola Tinubu as the new president. Additionally, he stated that the court's argument would be solely supported by the plaintiff's argument against the results of the election on February 25. He said, quoting verbatim from a remark made by Femi Falano, INEC has acknowledged that there were challenges with respect to the deployment of technology and the conduct of electoral officers. INEC had promised Nigerians that electoral officers who abused their offices would be brought to book. And I will say that Peter B. lawyers can invoke the Electoral Act provision to tackle INEC. In addition, he stated, the same applies to other petitioners because the court and the tribunal are empowered to recommend the prosecution of those who manipulated the elections, inflated figures, and betrayed the electoral, electorate confidence. If such evidence is presented, the court is empowered to recommend the prosecution of anyone indicted. And that is the truth. <laughs> okay. So that is what Femi Falano is saying, okay, that uh, already APC knows. APC knows that the case is a very bad one for them. There are video evidences, there are audio evidences, there are pictorial evidences, there are documented evidences all from around Nigeria that will be presented. In fact, the court will be overwhelmed with evidences that will come from the Labour Party. That is the truth. And that is why Tinubu is, uh, is scared. APC is scared. All of them are scared. They don't know what to say. Even Buhari himself is scared. He doesn't know what to say. Because at the end of the day, the hands of the justices will be tied because of the kind of evidences that will be brought before them. Only themselves will make the decision that this case is a dirty one and the only way is to allow justice to prevail. It's going to get to that point. Except if this country actually don't want to exist again as a country. Otherwise, they will allow justice to prevail to the highest order. Okay? So what Falano is saying here is that definitely the judges or the justices will look at the evidences presented before them and already, 
already INEC chairman is already admitting that there were system failures, there were technological failures, and also admitting that a lot of the electoral officers also compromised and violated the electoral process. And at the same time, so and Peter B lawyers can invoke the sections of the electoral act to buttress their case because already Mahmoud Yakubu had promised Nigerians, both local and international, that the election will be free and fair and they will use the technology to make sure that the election um, is free and fair. Unfortunately, he failed in all of that and he's actually a culprit in all of this. He's just trying because in a case like this, the small man will bear the brunt. I'm sure he will just, they will just put all the matter on the small grand staff and that is where the problem will come. Because they, they invite the INEC retiring officers in each state or invite any grand key officers on ground who has actually been induced by their bosses to do what they did, then confessions will start coming out. And when that confession start coming out, the whole system will be scattered. And that is where it's going to go. INEC knows that. The INEC chairman knows that. If you are wrongly in, uh, um, um, expose the state uh, resident commissioners and then they will they will also confess the truth and also rope everybody into it and then heads will start rolling that is the way to go okay so but we know that the labor party has enough evidences to handle this matter in court and there's high level of confidence and hope that with the court everything will be okay okay everything will be okay some weeks ago, Falano said Adeleke cannot win at the AP court. Okay, like I used to do. I think he's worse um, and pitied the situation. Hmm. Now, at judgment, Adeleke won. Since the judgment of Oshun case, I stopped respecting him. I can't take him seriously because before me, he is an intuitive guesser. <laughs> Nari intuitive guesser. Okay, so somebody is saying that he doesn't want to take him here. He doesn't want to believe him. Okay. So, so the fact remains that, uh, so what I say is that Falano is a guesser and should not be taken serious. Should not be taken serious. It's quite unfortunate. But then we all know that the, 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 the P2B and Labour Party legal team have enough data, enough document, enough information, enough evidences that they're going to use to handle that case in court. It's a complex one. It's not going to be as easy as usual. It's not going to be a case as usual. The judiciary is going to sit up. This is a litmus test for the judiciary in Nigeria now. Okay? I'm sure by the time they see overwhelming evidences that will come out in court, they will, they will, they will, their hands will be tied to their back, and then they will have no, no reason not to give way for justice to take place. So that is the situation. That is what is coming from Falano, saying that the Labour Party legal team is at advantage in going to court to handle this matter. So thank you for listening, and let's have a comment.